Hello and welcome to The Sound Live! My name is Matthew. So everybody, welcome to the show, Kyle Walls. Kyle is a singer-songwriter and really cool guy who's got a brand new album that he is starting work on. Kyle, won't you tell us really briefly, give us a little teaser. Oh yeah, so the audio for this new album and uh, it's going to be called Mask. Uh, it has uh, some interesting experiments on it and I'm about halfway done, as in done, done, mastered done with the audio. So that's a, a nice thing. So I'm aiming for October 1 being done so I can start with uh, other stuff. Right on. Oh. Jennifer Valiquette. Hello, Hi. Jennifer. <laughs> uh, Jennifer is a flute player and a saxophone player. She teaches music lessons, and this next, this first reaction is for her. So I, I wasn't sure what to start with, but I know for sure what to start with now. We're going to start with my pick. And so I picked something really incredible and soothing, and so I want to start with it. Jennifer, this yes. one's for you. It Are is? you familiar with Jethro Tull? Yes! Okay, you are? Have you <laughs> heard the song, Songs okay. from the Wood? I don't think I've heard this one, no. Okay, um, well, you're in for a treat. This is Ian Anderson, flute player, extraordinaire, guitarist, vocalist, songwriter, and an incredible influence on me. I don't know why we haven't done any Jethro Tull yet. I, I just, I just, I don't know. I haven't been like in that mindset, I guess. And today I just, I need to have some songs from the wood. Anybody want to say anything about this before we mash the play button? No, I, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I was trying to think if I've heard this one before. So it, it seems familiar. So I'm, I'm curious to see. Kopi mana Kopi. Kopi mana Kopi. Mash the like button. Everyone, mash that like button. Like. <laughs> like. Yeah, cool. I like that. Destroy right. that like button. <laughs> that like button shall perish a awful death. Oh, yeah. All right. So how about we move to Indonesia next? We've been spending a lot of time on the sound in Indonesia. And so we have a very highly requested artist that's going to be introduced by none other than Kyle Walls. Why don't you introduce your pick for us, Kyle? All right. So this is Burger Kill and, uh, you know, doing, um, you know, uh, videos with a leap in um, Faye and Alex or Josephine. Uh, you, you get all these uh, other ideas and so this is one that's been on my radar for a long time probably since april mm -hmm. uh and i just hadn't a chance to get around to it so i was thinking well hey you know uh doing these videos here on monday this seems like a perfect choice for the sound so other than their name and that it was suggested by com commenter and like you said they're from indonesia um that's about all i know so i'm excited to hear burger kill i mean that's a great name I mean, you gotta, I mean, there, there's so many different, you know, is this going to be vegan metal? Is it going to be like something snarky? I mean, there's a whole lot of, whole lot of stuff you could, uh, you know, get within, with that name, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it is, it is pretty cool. Um, I, I had never heard of them, and then you know a whole bunch of the leapers um, would would give us the uh, the the down low on all the Indonesian music, and generally Burger Kill was among the list of names. Um, yeah. They have quite a few requests on my channel as well, so I'm really excited to do that for you. And um, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Without further ado, musicians panel reacts to Burger Kill Kilkestra. An elegy official video. Here we go.
be judging me I cannot run I cannot hide It's killing me And dragging me better than i expected for Definitely. sure uh <laughs> i i mean i was like not expecting much out of a name like that maybe that was a a mass that was a massive prejudgment <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, yeah same here um I, I looked up and uh apparently they formed sometime in the 90s so i could see like oh you know hey uh, all this grungy new wave of punk is coming through let's have a ridiculous name you know green jello <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I, I, I mean, maybe a little bit, um, a little bit, but but I feel like there was a lot of like emo, like I don't know, like um, maybe um, 
oh, what's their names? My Chemical Romance or um, um, what's uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, I was thinking yeah, Avenged I, Sevenfold. R- Rise Against or one of those, hmm. um, um, or even even Lincoln Park a little a little bit, but not quite so much. Yeah, like with the Breaking really edgy Benjamin. voice. Breaking yeah. Benjamin. That's it. And yeah, yeah. I mean, like everything else except like the vocal at the end was like it was great. I just it got I got a little too alt metal for my personal taste yeah. at the at the end. I really loved the orchestra. That oh, was yeah, really that part. cool. Yeah. Like like you know like they were playing that really mellow electric guitar, right? boom, 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 and then it would do that one little thing where that little minor. Minor second came in, and you heard that little crunch, and the orchestra did some really neat stuff. And then there was a couple yeah. of times where, like the the French horn and the trumpet, they did a this little like freaky like horror movie sound. Like whoever arranged that did an incredible job. Like it was like the perfect blend of like movie score and like rock ballad. And then in the middle, it had a little bit of grindiness, almost like Tool a little bit. Like a little bit, and then I don't know. I just I love I love how it was this big long journey, and like it wasn't like you know verse chorus verse chorus. It was like this through composed adventure. You know, like I didn't even hear like a repeating chorus, and that's like sometimes that's really refreshing. If a song can keep if a song can keep your attention for that long without all that repetition, Mm -hmm. to me that's a big fresh, fresh breath of fresh air. It definitely yes. kept mine, yeah. And I love how they did the video too. Like in the in the beginning with the instruments, they just kept showing the different ones and stuff. And I just thought that was really that must have taken them forever to do all that production on that. It was so cool. Yeah, it was really really cool. <laughs> Airline secrets, like sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> They're waiting for man made. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah. Shout out to that. That was a funny. That was a funny chat. I like that. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, um, why watching it, the first thing that, that really grabbed me is thinking, how much money does it does that band make to pay all those musicians? So I, right. I quickly looked up. Um it was recorded in Prague. Mm-hmm. And so I, I wouldn't think that that is necessarily I mean, it's probably cheaper than New York, but I mean, um, you know, I, I would not, you know, think of Prague as being a place where musicians are that much cheaper. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Especially sure. to have a, a a full orchestra like that. Um, I, the, the mix sometimes you could tell um, it, it would be hard to have that many strings and the, you know, down tune guitar in the same mix. And it, yeah. there was a couple of times where listening to, I was like, okay, the strings are a little overpowering, but then I was thinking of the name of the track, you know, it's like, okay, well that makes sense. You know, if you're the mix engineer and it's like, guitar violins what am i gonna do how do i you know where, where do i start chunking out the eq and stuff and it's like well okay kilkestra okay boom <laughs> we go to the orchestra yeah, there, I I, you also got to think about like the um i guess because the violin and the guitar are in the voice uh frequency as well so mm-hmm. that yeah. that interference it would complicate it even more yeah, now, yeah. I, I did want to address a little bit of the screaming in there because, you know, uh, anybody that's watched the sound, especially um, for Eve's picks, knows that I'm not really big into the growly screaming vocals a whole lot. However, that no. said, I liked what they did on this song. <laughs> I felt like it was it was well mixed. It sounded good when they did it. It didn't, like, take over. It wasn't grating. Like, I could still hear you know, the bass guitar while they were screaming. I could still hear, you know, the trumpets and the and the cellos. I like when it's done well and it sounds good with the overall mix, I'm all about it, right? That's cool. It's just But is that really metal, Matt? Oh, yeah, I, 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 maybe I'm not metal anymore. I, I mean, Hammer I was just, smash I was just bass. thinking. Hammer smash yeah. bass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm like, I, I, I like, I like all kinds of music, you know? I know. There's, there's just those little lines, you know, and I do not feel like this one was crossed. I felt like they stayed on the tasteful side of the line for me. That's all yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah, definitely. The yeah. and yeah. and like what what you were saying about singer, I was interested. Like music, music videos like that give um, 
a, a weird perception because I, I know some people will probably watch that and think, oh, that is the footage whenever you can clearly hear that the vocals were, you know, ha- yeah, there's multiple vocal tracks at the same time and, and different things like that. And plus that microphone in that room would pick up all of the stuff and you wouldn't really probably hear right. that singer very well. So, um, I mean, maybe though, I mean, that because that was definitely like done in the studio post. Yeah. So I didn't see any background singers. So well, I mean, to have the singer, overdub? sure, you could overdub. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's why I'm saying people would. I, I can imagine some people watching that video and thinking, "No, that is the recording." That's like, yeah, it's not really how that works. Uh, I don't know that the, the singer. I mean, when you have multiple singer, like uh, there's times where he was singing and kind of growling at the same time. Right. I don't think he could pull that off in there. And plus no, that mic, no, no, that no. type of large diaphragm microphone would pick up all the instruments too. Having the singer You're there right. as the instruments are recorded. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Cause you know, it gives a, a point of reference for everything and classical people can't play by ear right. mostly. I well, mean, and that's not it. a knock. It's, Why would it's they part use of the training. That mic? Okay. Cause it well, looks cool. It does look cool. It's a it video. Does. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there might not have been any signal. From that feed, that could have just uh, that could have been a Millie Vanilli, you know what I mean? Like yeah, just the vocals the done say. in a booth, exactly. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, if, if that's how they had to do it to make it, that's cool, you know? Yeah. Like, like art. Like, I'm not gonna like criticize a painter because he's used a three quarter paintbrush instead of a one half or something. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like that. Yeah. It's yeah. like that's just an artistic choice, right. you know? But I really liked it. Okay. Anybody else want to say anything more here about Burger Kill? No, it was cool. I liked it. Yeah. It was it was different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do me a big favor. Like this video, share it out, and subscribe. Evelyn Holland. Evelyn is awesome singer, songwriter, and leader of the band Keys of Solomon. You can find her music at keysofsolomon.bandcamp.com. Progressive. Progressive black metal. Yeah. Please please go listen to it. <laughs> yeah, new stuff is in the works. And also, Kyle Walls, singer, songwriter, uh, artist. You can find him on all the streaming platforms like Spotify, etc. But download his music from KyleWalls.com. That's right. Brand new stuff in the works. So, Kyle, you got a bunch yeah. of text all over your face right now, Kyle. You need to go I take oh, a, from... take a shower. You need to take <laughs> a shower will, and wash all that. that text off your face, man. <laughs> no, it's my fault. I didn't. I didn't move the box over, and I yeah. really should because it would look better <laughs> if I did. Yeah, and this this mouse isn't plugged in. Remember? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, <laughs> patreoncom slash Matthews Music Lesson Studio, where you can get a bonus video from me every single week. Sometimes it's a cover, a cover or a collaboration you won't see anywhere else. Sometimes it's a React video that you get to have a month or more in advance. Sometimes it's going to be a special lesson that you can only get on Patreon. Or bonus content from my podcast, Flowering Creativity. So make sure you go there and check out, learn more about Evelyn Holland right now at patreon.com slash Matthews Music Lesson Studio. The nonprofit to support the channel and help us to meet our funding goals is LiberaPay.com com slash Matthews Music. Please support the channel weekly at Libera Pay and no, resting assured, you're not paying Libera Pay anything. They're nonprofit and they're not keeping a penny. Or you could simply send me a tip right now with a super chat on YouTube. I have enabled it. I made sure it's working. You can do it. Beat the live chat uh, line here. Send me a super chat right now. Also, you can buy me a coffee. You know I love my cold brew at buymeacoffee.com slash Matthews Music. I need a coffee for tomorrow morning. Send me five bucks and I'll go to the store and grab me my coffee for the morning. Uh, I love having my coffee in the fridge in the morning, right? Then I don't do nothing. It's nice and cold. <laughs> and Venmo at Matthews Music. You can send me a tip on Venmo. Chat's coming up now. Um, and one final thing, MatthewsMusicLessonStudio.com is where you get your music lessons. And you, know, you can be anywhere in the world. I do all tons of different kinds of instruments, including vocal, guitar, all forms of saxophone, clarinet, ukulele, bass guitar, all that stuff at MatthewsMusicLessonStudio.com and record the lessons to keep them forever on your device. And so we'll see you all next time on The Sound Live.